So Deb, thank you so much for uh, volunteering to do this success stream. Um, we are really excited when people want to own their success and celebrate their victory. Uh, I think a lot of us, especially women, tend to not celebrate our victories. Um, and I think that's just such an important thing for us to do. So uh, we don't have very many people doing these screens. And uh, I think that we're going to start really uh, helping people say, I'm going to do it. And you're, you're one of the reasons why. So yeah, we're excited about that because we do need to celebrate our success. Um, okay, so how much did you lose with us? So I lost 21 pounds total. Awesome. I passed my goal, so I was so excited. Nice, nice. Now, have you been struggling with weight loss for a while? I have. Um, I was um, 249 pounds at my heaviest. Wow, okay. I said, I don't want to go over 250. Like, that's crazy. So... I started working on it and slowly cutting back um, carbs and um, exercising regularly and trying to be more disciplined. And um, it was a long road. Yeah, it's been 10 years in the making. <laughs> wow. Okay. So yeah. then why did you decide to um, do a breakthrough then? Because it sounds like you were doing really good. I was heading in the right direction, but my goal was to be 175. Um, I haven't been that weight probably since high school <laughs> okay. and, um, you know, I remember feeling good about myself then and, and being confident. And so that was my goal. And I was, um, hovering between the last 15 to 20 pounds. And, um, I had a birthday in July and my daughter made me this magnificent, fabulous layered cake with candy on it and everything and it's COVID, right? So no one's coming over to share it with <laughs> So that was, it was good, but not good for me. Yeah, yeah. And so I kind of plateaued after that and mm. um, my sister had done this program and had great results. And so I said, I wanna try this out. You know, it seemed um, daunting the program, you know, when she described it to me, I was like, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, um, you know, and, and it kind of made me nervous because she when she told me all I heard was carbs, carbs, carbs. And I was like, no, carbs are bad for me. <laughs> but, um, you know, I realized that, you know, healthy, whole food carbs, are good for you and and it works and I did see the difference like when I wouldn't um eat my fruits you know the way I was supposed to or enough vegetables that it made a difference yeah yeah that's well I'm glad you did it this is exciting yeah. um all right so were there any obstacles plateaus events social calendar thing that um you know could have interfered with your journey um, you said you were going out with your daughter, and um, but what did you do when you were going out with her? I looked at the menu and planned ahead and figured out what I could eat that would, you know, keep me in line with the program um, so that I wouldn't stumble. Yeah. Um, the same for Thanksgiving. I think I was still on it or transitioning over Thanksgiving, and I really wanted sweet potatoes, but... <laughs> I was good. I didn't eat them. I, um, you know, just had the meat and vegetables and, and I didn't feel bad. I took some home to freeze them. My friend gave me some to freeze and, and they're still there in my freezer. <laughs> so, oh, isn't that funny? So you really thought you wanted it so much yeah. just because it was there. And meanwhile, mm -hmm. now you can have it. Right. You don't really need it. That's funny. right. Good for you. That's exciting. Um, you also decided not to go to a Halloween party, you said. Yeah, my friend was hosting and luckily my, my schedule got a little busy that day. And so I kind of had a, an excuse to go home so I could walk my dog, <laughs> let him out. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I skipped on the Halloween party so I wouldn't be tempted because she was making uh, apple martinis or something yeah. yummy. Yeah. <laughs> I could see why that would be a temptation. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, 
Uh, are there things you can do now that you couldn't do before? And I loved your answer. You said something about fitting into something. So what was that? Oh my gosh, I don't remember being in a size medium since middle school, really. And I went shopping. The friend that was going to make the apple martinis, she took me shopping for my birthday present. Uh, and that was after I lost my weight. And um, she's like, try this on. It's a medium. And I was like, oh my gosh, it fits. <laughs> so yeah, most of my clothes now are mediums, which... Uh, before this, I was wearing a 2X. So, yeah. Yep. Wow. So yeah. It was surprising I, how much difference it made. But I exciting. remember too, I didn't want to pick clothes from those smaller sizes because I was too afraid to feel rejected by the smaller size. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> uh, yeah, I totally fit into it and I put things on and I was swimming in things and I was like, what am yeah. I doing? You know? So that was a little bit of a scary moment for me the first time I decided right. to go shopping. Because, right. Because you, know, you, you don't want to be disappointed either. You know. Yeah. And I realized it when I went in my closet and I was looking for a shirt to wear and everything was too big. And I was like, oh my God, I can't find a shirt to wear. That is great. So, uh, I know. We don't want to wear diaper pants out, out in the no. That's for sure. <laughs> I was so <laughs> Yes, I only want to swim at the beach, not in my clothes. <laughs> there you go. That's a great, that is a great quote. Um, so many times people say, uh, feel deprived when they go on a diet. And although you kept saying no to many things, um, what were you feeling that you were um, saying yes to? So I was saying yes to my health, yes to my confidence, um, yes to feeling comfortable in my clothes and being able to put on whatever I want and and looking, enjoying the way I feel, being happy with the way I look in them. So, yeah, um, saying no to Thanksgiving at a Halloween party was definitely worth it. It was because there'll be <laughs> <laughs> there'll be more of those. That's correct. That's yeah. awesome. Um, what do you think your biggest aha moment was during the program? Um, my biggest aha was that. Um, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. And um, I realized that um, the weight was coming off quickly, you know, because I was sticking to the plan. And um, it was just exciting to see the weight coming off as quickly as it did, um, making the sacrifices that I was making and, and knowing that it would just happen in, in a short amount of time. Yeah. So, yeah. you, I mean, for you too, because you mentioned it up above, um, you know, you weren't sure if you could do it or you thought it was daunting and everything else. But it seems to me that that answer too was also wrapped around the fact that maybe, maybe um, you weren't really sure if you could do it. And then you realized, wow, I, I totally can do this. Yeah. I totally can do it. And your actions really did result in results that you wanted. Yeah. Because yeah. even when we finished step three, I was like, oh, phew, I'm done. But then when you open the step four, you're like, okay, a little bit more. A little bit more, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Pace yourself. And, and it wasn't, it still wasn't that difficult. So, no, not at all. Because you're eating all whole foods and mm -hmm. it's not like you're transitioning from like bars and shakes to something. Right. Else. You're literally eating whole food and then you're just learning how to eat more whole food. That's right. But just yeah. make better choices. That's awesome. All right. Um, all right. So where are you going from here? What goals do you have now? Well, um, since I feel so great and comfortable in my clothes and um, I'm close, I'm out of obese category, which is great. Yeah. Um, thankfully. So I think I want to try to get to normal BMI. So I'm going to shoot for 15 to 20. That's awesome. Yeah, that is great. Um, all right, so what is one piece of advice you could give to someone who might be considering Breakthrough M2? Uh, you can do it. <laughs> it's not as daunting as it seems. Um, just like I thought it would be when I heard about it. It, it. it really works and just you can just follow it. You get used to it quickly and uh -huh. yeah, just give it a try. Awesome. 
All right, so um, you have your top three uh, statements. We're going to uh, have you do your success scream. So remember your name, how much you lost, and then your three um, affirmations or success statements. So floor is yours, my dear. All right. My name is Deborah Dorval. I lost 21 pounds on Breakthrough M2. I put my wellness first. I realized that discipline is freedom, freedom from big clothes, freedom from being uncomfortable in your skin, being uncomfortable in your clothes. And I feel so confident now. I am confident. Oh, Thank you. Well <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, well, I appreciate you, Deb. Thank you so much. I, I'm so proud of you. I know this was, you know, this was, this was definitely a, a, a it was a challenge to go through the holidays. It really was. So, yeah. um, you know, but you just decided that you weren't saying no. You were just saying not this time. Right. There's exactly. a difference between that perspective of I'm depriving myself versus no, I'm just taking a time out. <laughs> That's right. Yes. The other holidays. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, your time. I appreciate you being on this with us and you did it. And I appreciate that. Yes, of course. Thank, thank you. you so much for your thank program you. and for your support and encouragement and all the great tools that you came up with. yeah all right have a great day hon you too thank you bye bye, -bye.